just talk about you, you said it's a long season but what, what can a win like that do yeah for you? i mean obviously every single win in this league counts you need to avoid sweeps at all costs especially at home um and it says a lot about character of our team that you know we're down a bunch of players and you get guys like tucker come in there and give you a little bit of a spark and uh Obviously, Lampkin was outstanding, and, and we have you know we have some adjustments to make across the board uh, from a pitching staff standpoint. But um, super proud of the team. Obviously, it's Justin and and then Will were up, they were awesome. Talk about adjustments to the pitching staff. Uh, what is going to be? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you know, no, it's pretty obvious. But I mean, I think that we have a chance to shuffle some things around, maybe get better both in the bullpen and starting pitching wise. Um, you know, we got we didn't. We didn't get through. We got three bad starts, really. I mean, Detmer wasn't that great, um, but uh, you know, I wanted to obviously, you know, walk the walk the ballpark. Uh, so we have a lot of reevaluation to do. But you know, that comes at the cost of, of all of the all of the games have value. So there's going to have to be some pitchers that that haven't been in some of those roles. Going to have to give us innings as we shuffle this thing around a little bit. How important have the the, the steady hands of both? Haas and Moss been to this offense. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where we'd be without them uh, because you know you have either guys hurt or guys underperforming at the moment. Um, those guys have just been money in the bank, and uh, you know Austin has too. You know he we, we, he didn't have the best day, but he got a, obviously a big hit to start off the, the eighth inning, uh, which one thousand percent you knew was going to happen after the call in the in the seventh inning. That was a note the baseball gods. Uh, that I told. Uh, Told our coaches, just just no doubt, this is going to be a single, no doubt. After you know the controversial play, but but yeah, those guys have been great. What about simplicity? You said yesterday, if you throw strikes, you compete with those guys. You didn't throw strikes the first inning, get behind yeah. four, and they, they they didn't really add on to that. Well, I mean, the the name of the game this weekend for us to have a chance to win a series was left-handed pitching. Mm -hmm. Left-handed pitching is is you know, I mean, those guys were great hitters. They're great. Those guys are great hitters against anybody, but. We had we had enough left-handed pitching to, to to win a game or two, and the guys didn't just didn't throw it over the plate. I mean, it's it's hard to get them out. You don't throw it over the plate, so we have to get better. You know, just come back in a month and let's just see what kind of club we have if we can get some guys healthy and get some guys experienced. And I mean, I still like the direction of our team. You mentioned the controversial play. What did you say, and how was it explained to you? Well, what I asked was, I thought he, you know, I thought. He pushed him off, or it was a hard tag that I thought he was originally safe, and I thought the play was for the most part over. And then uh, I, he said, "I asked, can you ch challenge the you know pushing off?" And he said, that part of the play cannot be challenged. You can challenge out or safe. So obviously, I was just taking a shot at maybe he somehow stayed on the base, but um, the the push off part would have have to would have had to have originally been called by the umpire. Was that not something where the umpires could have come together and discussed not with, it? Not with a guy looking right over top of it. Um, I don't know that it was actually a push-off. I just think it was just a really hard tag. I've seen the push-offs where the guy's glove is actually on the guy's body and riding him off the base. I thought I thought their third baseman, he's a, who's a big guy, and Stanley, who's a little guy, <laughs> uh, just dove hard to go try and tag him. And I don't think he was intentionally doing it, but, you know. I'm sure if we were wearing a yellow jersey, we would say it's not a push off. So. so bringing in Stanley Tucker, what went into the decision to have him pinch hit, and then how about well, the, I actually thought about I actually thought about starting him because I just I almost I almost did. He had a great round of BP. I, know I always write the lineup out before batting practice because I don't I don't I don't like to let batting practice dictate what I do. But um, I almost switched it um, because I just felt like I mean Stanley's such a beloved guy and he brings a lot of energy to the team and we need that right now and. And so, you know, they made it simple when they brought the lefty in. Um, and then it was just a matter of when, when was I going to take a shot with partner and who was it going to be for. So, uh, but Tuck, Tuck was awesome. Great at bats and, and made a great catch on the field. What about follow up? I actually thought to play the game, I mean, along, along with his, the, 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 the steal of third base by Case and, you know, Case and Wells initiating that as a freshman being out there. Like, that was a huge, because that run was so big. And, you know, if he doesn't steal that bag, that's, that ball, if that same ball gets hit, it's probably a 5-3 double play. And the, so the stolen base was the, that, I mean, that was a huge extra run in the last inning. What kind of guys that say Tucker is? Because he really got picked off, and a lot of people let that brute. But yeah. then he back, gets big, it gets walked. Yeah, you know, I mean, I didn't, you know, I thought it was, a, you know, it was an aggressive base running play, and that's okay. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, he's. I mean, we 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 want to run bases aggressively, and, and obviously, you know, one side of the ball can affect you on on the other, and, and so uh, he, he's an awesome kid. He's he's a great teammate. He's been. It's hard for a junior college player to come in and not play, and so it shows you the character, the human being that he is. That he's hung in there, and, and he got rewarded today. Uh, what about his playing time in court? What will that look like? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, you'd like. I mean, he's earned earned the right to play more. So, you know, I would I would anticipate him getting more at bats for sure. We saw Warner uh, didn't play the field. Just exactly what is his status? Close, close. Uh, can hit, can run almost 100%. Uh, the defense is kind of the last thing. Um, so I was just told him, hey, go up here. We've told him the whole weekend, just be ready to have one at bat, and then don't try and leg anything out. You know, just put together a good at bat, and then if you get on base, we'll run for you. So. Um, I don't know if I'll take a shot at it Tuesday night. I, I want I want to see him do everything on a baseball field without hesitation before we play him, so we can get this behind us. And then just how important was the performance of Lampkin? Yeah, I mean, unbelievable. You know, for that guy, you know, two times in a week to to just pitch us to to two wins is awesome. And I certainly knew he was capable of it. Um, but you're also trying to develop Chris, and and, and also trying to, you know, the, the midweek games count too. So we're going to have to you know, readjusting things for sure.